page, there are some few other things which I will quickly I will show you how to use that. For example, many of the times, especially when you're you know when you're in a live orchestra or something, so all those people will use to use a echo sound. So you know, like basically echo means whatever you speak, it will repeat you know once or twice based on your settings. So that echo sounds also option is available on the Audacity. So I will show you how to use that. But but before that, I will show you. I will uh, play this without echo. No, I don't want this to be. Chrome lived in the forest and was absolutely satisfied with life. But one day he sighed. So for example, if I want to give a echo for this first initial, some few seconds, around ten seconds. So I have to select that part, same like a uh, changing a pitch option. So first you have to identify the place where you want to add a echo sound. But if you want to add a echo sound for entire track that uh, I already told you, just double click so that it will select the entire track. So basically you have to select the part or select the track to apply the echo sound. So now I just play it without echo, but now I would like to add a echo sound. Go to echo. And here you can, as it, as it's suggesting, this, so this is a seconds of delay which it will repeat the second, the the next word, and the factor. So, for example, uh, here I will keep it three factors so means point three times, and the one uh, seconds delay. So, let's before clicking on OK. Uh, a crow lived in the forest and was absolutely satisfied. So one second is too much. That's why it is uh, making some delay. So what I will do, I will put some point, uh, say point four seconds. Then let's see. A crow lived in the forest and was absolutely satisfied by life. A crow lived in the forest and was absolutely satisfied by life. So this way you can add a echo also. So for example, if I change the the decay factor to seven or something, just listen the changes. So this is too much. So if you put a seven, it means it will repeat the seven times. So I don't want to repeat seven times. So let's say point one this time. So now I just put a one time, so it will repeat. So this way you can configure your echo also, and this is basically timing. Like after how much time uh, like it has to play. So now I'm going to click on OK. okay now I just added echo also. Let's listen this one more time. A crow lived in the forest and was absolutely satisfied my life, but one day he sighed. I hope all of you are able to uh, listen the changes that I co apply. Yeah, point three is an ideal option, I think. But if you feel that you want to change in a number of times you want to repeat, you can do that. That is that possibility is there. So basically. So now if people want to put a uh, echo also, so quickly you can do that. I will, for this, I will give just two to three minutes. So please all of you quickly do this with your audio, but if it is required, okay, especially when you are submitting your audio file, please don't try all these things in your one track. Okay, I'm just trying to show all the menus as I said previously. So if it is required, or if you want it to in your audio track, use it, otherwise don't use it. There is no compulsory that, you know, you have to use a echo or you want to use, you have to change the pitch. There is no mandatory. I'm just showing all these possibilities, but please use all these features only if it is required in your story. Okay, so please do it quickly. So the echo sound. So as I said, echo, if you want to apply for entire track, just do this simply double click and go to effects and echo. Please do it quickly. Yeah. But as I said, please, please, my humble request to all of you is don't use all these things in your one single track. Because echo, pitch change, everything, if you combine, so your, the audio quality will be, you know, it will not give a good output. That's what my suggestion.
Prithvi sir, since uh, Krishna Rao sir is also recording our sessions, so I decided to not to record our sessions. So can I stop our recording? I hope Krishna sir is recording our session. You are now session. unmuted. Okay, then we will see. Okay, then we will see. From 6.30 onwards. Okay, yeah, no problem. So I will send you this link so that you can combine this also. Yeah. You are now muted. You are now unmuted. You are now muted. I'm extremely sorry. So I thought uh, my mic was in a hand. So I will just keep talking on this. Okay, let's come back. I will uh, repeat the same thing. So I just covered how to use a echo. And I also showed how to change the pitch. Like basically how to change the voice. So deep, apart from these two, there are many other things are available on this uh, Audacity. So the very one more very interesting thing is the reverb option. So here, so there is a reverb option, but before that, yeah, it is saying that please select some part. So I'll select this. The parrot explained. So for example, I'll select this part to show this how the reverb will work. So for example, I'll go to reverb and reverb. If you open it, there are many things are available on this reverb option. One is the room size. For example, right now, if you look at this 70% of the room size, but if you decrease this or if you increase the room size, just I will show you the preview. I'm not going to click on OK because I am not, I don't require this effects in my track. The crow can approach the parrot. The parrot explains. So if you listen the same thing very carefully, so it is just like you know somebody is talking in a big room. Did you see the observe? So did you observe this? Sorry. I will try to in decrease also. Let's listen first without you know increasing the room size. The crow can approach the parrot. The parrot explains. So this is with the 20% of the room size. But if I increase the room size to 100%, the crew can approach the parrot. The parrot explains. So this is you know, same like you know, somebody is talking in a big auditorium room or in, in an open place. So that is what you can, uh, you can try this in your track. So if you want. So this is one thing if people know. So, and there is a one more option is that wet gain and the dry gain. This is also both are very interesting. So if you reduce the gain, the wet option, so it will give us a different voice. See, now it is a more clear. So the voice is more clear. So this is very difficult for all of you to observe from my track because I'm playing from this through my external speaker and again it is coming through my BBB screen. So that's why you are not able to find out the difference. But uh, people can try all these things uh, to to change your basically the voice of your uh, story. Okay. 
okay so there is a tone low also so it's the, this is also very interesting thing so i don't the crow then approach the parrot the parrot explained yeah now it's very smooth actually compared to the previous version so this way you can change or you can work with uh, using this reverb option but i'm not going to give a time to work on this now so directly i will go to the adding a background music because that is very most im important also interesting things so before that i would like to save this audio file because once i add a background music it it will have a two track so i don't want to be you know have a two files in my project file so first i will save this without track the music track i hope it is saved now so now i will go to i will show you how to add a background so before that as i said you should have your background music file or the sound which you want to add it in your track so for that first i you have to go to the file okay now don't go to the export because export is only if you want to take all this tracker to outside but if import means if you want to import some new files to your audio then go to import and go to audio and you are once you click on the import audio then it will start showing all your computer the system files and the folders then go to the file the music file so all my music folders are in my music folder inside that there this is a main our my main folder so inside that so i already you know uh, done some work and also found that there is one tone called something called number 39 yeah this one layered so i found this this tone is uh, this music is interesting for this story so that's why i chosen this so this same way since people have downloaded your background music so you have to choose the file and that should be mp3 or a ogg or some other audio format and click on okay so once you click on the open or okay now look at the look at my track so there are two tracks now so one is the the mono track which i have the mam has recorded the story but apart from this i will minim reduce the size of that and this is the music the background music track okay so this way you can add a uh, multiple tracks in your audio okay so i'm going to show one more time it's like for example after you added if you feel that you you don't want any of this track as i said you can always use this close button to remove the track for example like if i don't want this background music i can click on this close button uh, i'll show you one more time how to add a background music so all of you please look at this go to file go to import go to audio so once you click on the audio your system folders files will be on, uh, on your screen so just browse your file downloaded file okay then choose the file which you want to add it click on open that's it so by adding this you can now you have two different tracks as i said so now i will show you i will play this uh, track along with the music just listen the track now Okay. I hope all of you are able to listen the both music and the voice. Yes, music over dominating. I know. So that I will show you how to use that because for for reducing any uh, volume of your track, all of you know that how to do that, right? You have to use the amplify option. That I will show you after you add your music to your track. So can all of you do this now? So quickly, all of you. uh go to file import and browse your music file
Hello, if you please do it quickly and uh, confirm in a chart window. So once you confirm, then I will go for the next uh, features. Now, so before I'm going to show uh, what are the things you can do it with the, the second track. So I want to uh, listen all your feedback about the, after you added a second track, uh, anything else you want to find out any, some error, like for example, uh, many of your audio, the background music, maybe the volume is too high. So that I will show you how to reduce it. But apart from that, anything, did you feel that you want to do with the audio or background music? Yes, sir. Uh, for example, uh, the first original track is for two minutes and mm -hmm. the audio that is added is one and a half minutes. Uh, mm -hmm. Can we just loop it so that uh, okay. uh, this will play till the end of the first track? Oh, because the second track that we added is 30 seconds uh, uh, smaller than the earlier. Less track. than, yeah, yeah, less than the first one. Okay. I noted down. So basically, how to repeat or how to loop it of any of of your music track and one is the volume any other things from the other teachers any other teachers want to try any new things after you added a background music krishna sir do you want to learn anything like after you added a oh, background no, music muted. did you feel anything to add You are now muted. Okay, fine. So one is the amplifier and another one is the uh, the looping thing. But also, I was expecting that teachers will, you, you people will tell. So sometimes, see, uh, if you add a background music for your entire two minutes track, sometimes you feel that you want some space, the silent space, even with the background music, right? So, for example, the background music will have a continuous track so that you can't sometimes if you want in some silent space, even in the music file. So, that is also possible in the Audacity. So, I will show you how to do that. But, but before that, uh, Sujata, madam, you want to share anything? Okay. Fine. Actually, uh, the, when the first track is having some dialogues, when mm -hmm. there is some silence, uh, in mm -hmm. that uh, two to three seconds silence, in that mm -hmm. only in that uh, space, uh, we need to know how to increase the volume. So, the rest of the area, uh, the background music will be very less. When mm -hmm. there is some gap between the dialogue to dialogue, maybe suddenly if, uh, we need to increase the volume, that uh, kindly teaches. Yeah, yeah, basically, I will show you how to increase or how to reduce the volume in one, any particular. Uh, that is for the overall spaces, and only in certain no, areas. No, even in the particular places also. Yeah. Fine, fine. Yes. Sure. Okay. You are now sir, muted. Sir, one doubt, sir. Yes, yes. Uh, sir, if I want to change uh, uh, in a audio track, uh, uh, if I want to add two more sounds, for example, a bird voice is there yes. and a parrot yes. voice is there. Yes. Ah, so yes. when we want to add the two or more voices, uh, two uh, two background uh, music, sir, then how can we change? Sure, I will show. Sure, I will show. Okay, sir. Okay, sir. Thank you. You can unmute your. Uh, sorry, you can mute your mic. Okay, so let's come back to my university project now. So. I will try to give <clears throat> show you all the things which you have requested. So for first one is the how to reduce the volume. That all of you know that because in my second session itself, I have showed you how to use the amplify option. Two ways you can use the amplify. One is like for example, if you want to reduce the volume of the background music, you have to select only that part. So in my case, if you look at my the background music track here, just I will increase a little bit. So, yeah, if you look at my the background music part here, so it's so it shows that the volume is too high here, the pitch is. So if I want to reduce this volume, so what I can do is I can select the part and I can go to effects and amplify, then I can reduce it. But before clicking on always okay, 
better to go through premium okay so this volume is if you feel that if the volume is okay then you can just click on okay so that only the background music volume will reduce especially if you have selected only the small part that part the volume will be it can be adjustable using this amplifier option okay but before that my uh, thing is i want to show one more uh, new things so basically if you listen any of the movie songs right so people will definitely you will listen a lot of uh, new the movie songs or the any devotional songs so in those songs if you observe that so starting like in the starting point they will not have any vocals first they will have some initial music right some bgm sounds and other thing then after some few seconds the, the lyrics will start right but here if you look at my track but unfortunately i have, I have just the audio is starting from the beginning so right so it is starting along with the music but if i want to give some initially if i want to give it some space here i will show you there is one small icon the that's very straight forward feature is here so this one so this is called a shift tool okay so the two arrow icons is there so this is what we call as a shift tool so the shift tool advantage is for example if you want to move the, the entire track to you know to forward or to backward you can always use this shift tool so i will use this shift tool to move this my the story part to just few seconds forward so i'll click on this so once you click on this button just if you observe my the cursor so okay can anyone tell me why it is showing this cross mark just look at my cursor so it is not showing a arrow also so basically it is saying that i can't do anything can i know the reason you are now unmuted ah so i am in mean, right now i am in a pause that's why i am not able to do anything now if i try to do anything so only if i use the stop button then just look at my cursor now since you i click on this shift tool that my cursor is also showing the same icon so if you are in with this icon that means you can shift any of the music file or the track file so the vocal file so in my case if i want to move this so just hold it anywhere on your track and just move the uh, forward or the backward to where you want okay so i will move this to here now i will try to play the same file now so i'll i'll go to skip to start now since so first 15 seconds there is no voice so only there is a music so just look at now so this way you can adjust your the track timings using the shift tool but after i moved this to 15 seconds now i am feeling that this bgm the initial bgm sound is too much like 15 seconds is just too long so what i can do can anyone suggest me what to do now i want to reduce this bgm sound length maybe you can use the same tool and shift back slightly but i don't want this bgm with uh, this sound basically i want to only reduce this you want part. to change the entire bgm ah uh, that is one option or else i can i can remove it because since i have showed how to cut it so for example if i don't want like 10 15 seconds i can reduce some part of this select it and i will delete it from the track so this way i can just adjust the volume now so yeah so this is one way and now i will show you one more thing but before that like one if you use any of these six tools so until you click on the sai icon you can't do you can't use any other options unless you use only this uh, 
time shifter. So after you use this any tool, please make sure that you will click on the selection toolbar, this first icon, so that you can work on your file. So now, for example, I want to reduce the volume here because uh, where when she started talking, the BGM sound is the little high. So what I will do, I will I will just select that part. I'll go to effects, amplify. Now I don't want to increase. Actually, it is suggesting to increase, but I don't want to increase. I will try to reduce it. Minus. Let's try it minus two or something. I can reduce a bit more. Three. Yeah, I, now I, I think it's okay. Yeah. So uh, now I just had the first two few seconds, only the music will come. So again, from here, again, the, the BGM sound is too high. So one is I can, now all of you know that how to reduce the volume. So just select that only the BGM sound. Go to amplify and reduce it. So since it is the pitch is too high, so I will try with the, some minus seven or eight. So yeah, now let's. Um, Okay, so this way you can adjust your volume even if you don't want to increase or decrease the entire track volume if you want to work with the only selected part then better to select only the where you want to apply the amplifier for example if i want to apply amplifier only for this part i can go to effects amplify then i can reduce it So this way you can use a amplify and the shift to toolbar. Now I will show you one more thing. Okay. Then people can go ahead and practice this. So as I said earlier, so or else I will first I will uh, respond to the Virasal question that is that. So in case if your audio is three minutes and if you have uh, your the music or whatever, so if you have only less than that, then what you can do is you can repeat the, the track using the repeat option. So I will show you that, but before that, I don't want this part. So, and also actually, I, I don't want this entire part. So this music also I don't want because I like this, that the initial, this music. So I want to keep this, only this music to my entire track. So in that case, what I can do is, first I will remove this, I will remove this. I will use a control X and I will keep it somewhere because in future, if I want it, I can use it later. I am keeping it at the end just for a backup. But now if I want this part, this music to, to till the end of the, this story. So if I want to repeat this, what I can do is first time I will use this copy option. Okay, select the part which you want to repeat it, use a copy option, then come to the point where you want to paste this and use the paste option. Okay, so this is only if you want only one time you want to copy this. But same thing if you want instead of copying multiple times manually, see, so this is a three minutes audio. But if I want to 
make this to till three minutes. I want to paste this couple of times, maybe some some five ten times. I have to copy. So instead of that, what you can do is there in Nada City there is a one option called repeat. So that I will show you how to use this. So for example, I have selected this part, and I want to keep this music till the story ends. So after I select the track, music track, I will go to effects. And there is an option called repeat. So if you click on the repeat, it will ask you how many times you, it wants to repeat the same selected track. How many times I want to repeat? Um, now, right now, it is 45 seconds. Mm. Let's try with the 10 times. Click on OK. So, I just, so what it has done is it has taken from this part and it is copied 10 times the same way again if you want to copy one more so again select the only that selected part again go to effects repeat i want some one two three maybe three more times yeah so this way i can keep any of the selected part of my BGM sound to my entire track. Now, if you listen my background. So the same BGM sound will, will come till the end. So I hope all of you have uh, found this thing. So one is the amplify option. So amplify if you want to reduce the BGM sound, select the, the BGM sound where you want to reduce the volume and go to the amplify option. And for the second option, repeat option, select the part. If it is a one or two times, better to make a manual copy paste. Just copy and use a paste option. But if you want to copy like like my track, like if you want to copy some 15, 20 times, don't no need to do it manually. You just do one time and go to FX, do the repeat option. Okay. So for so one more doubt from the teachers is how to add a multiple tracks. So for example, right now uh, I have only these two tracks. One is the audio part, the story part, and one is the BGM sound. But apart from this, if I want to add a one more track here, the same steps, go to a file, go to import, go to audio. And I think, uh, let's try with a flute sound because I don't have any address. I, I can go to natural sounds. Um, I'll try to add some wind sound for that. Okay, so basically I'm selecting the third Track and I'm going to click on OK. Now look at here. So before it was only two tracks. One is the audio track, the BGM sound track. And now I added one more track. This is wind sound. But wind, unfortunately, the duration of this music is just a one few seconds. So now in this case, if I want to repeat this, the wind sound till the story ends, so I can use the same option, go to effects, Repeat and calculate how many times you want. Like basically, just I will try to put some 20 times. Like this, you can put. Now I can add it. So there is a. So this way you can add any number of, any number of, I know the background music. Any doubts, any comments? So now after you added a background music, I will show three things. One is how to reduce the volume. And second thing is how to repeat the same track to multiple times. And third thing is how to add a, uh, the third track, the music or any sounds or anything. Okay. So now, all of you, can you please uh, quickly practice with your file? Okay.
speaker, sir. Your mic sir? is unmuted. Uh, yes. Yeah. Uh, so, while you are working with that, uh, you made a control X. Then where did you paste it? Which one? Automatically. Uh, I guess. Uh, yes. I, yes. I yes. This. How this came? How this came? Yes. How this came? How, how this came here? So you 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 pasted it here, sir. Yes, I pasted here. So, for example, I just cut it. Then okay. I came a little further, like in some empty spaces. Yes, yes, yes. And I pasted there. Now I yes, just move. Like work, this. work. So this will be because, more useful. Uh, yes. Yeah, because be later, useful. if I want later to, we can do yeah, same thing. If I want to bring it back, I can always use this shift tool, and I can bring it back. This. Okay, okay, that's why that's why I am asking. So when you pasted it, Control X. Okay, you cut it out and you pasted it. Do we need any other? Uh, no, no. Layer? Just Control X, Control V. Yeah, 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 yeah. I know that Control X, Control V. And what uh, what I want to know is where did you uh, paste that Control V? Use it, Control V. In the same layer at the end, some some yeah. at the point. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Thank you, thank you. This is just for a backup, like if yeah, that's what I'm saying. Mm. That's why I'm asking you. It's very useful. Actually, this is a mm. very, very important tool so that we can mm. use uh, multiple times or any other thing instead of uh, opening another layer, another layer, and another layers. Mm. That's true. Okay. okay. And you have pasted it repeated, sir. You have repeated the pasting. Ah, repeat option, I use this for this bit. Yeah, now you started removing those lines, vertical lines. How, how do you do that? Yes. yes Just click like on the vertical, vertical lines. Yeah, the problem okay. with vertical lines is, if the vertical is still there, so then you, if you, even though if you double click on it, it will not select the entire okay, thing. Okay, okay, only, only that, that portion part. is being selected. Okay. Ah, and how so do you if you want to remove that? these lines, you just click on that lines. That's it. Okay, we're just clicking on, on it, is on. it? Okay. Yeah, okay. just single click. See, now yeah. if I double click on this, this tab will come. Okay. Perfect. Uh, sir, I have another small doubt that is actually uh, yeah. uh, practically altered uh, the music track okay, by applying the amplifying option. Where Sorry, is can uh, you if, I hope you are clear. Impact of yeah. Please mute your mic. Oh, oh. Yeah, go ahead. No, okay. Uh, so, uh, rather than just altering the entire track, if I have to uh, play that with uh, very uh, just 5% of the volume throughout the track, Mm -hmm. uh, can we use, just simply use this uh, uh, volume button like minus or plus? That will be very easier, no? Rather than altering physically using the amplify option, can you just show that? Ah, yes, yes. Uh, rather Which than uh, can... altering, see the entire track you have altered uh, by, uh, the virtual yeah. track has been altered by applying this amplify option, right? Mm -hmm. The volume and all. Rather than using that, rather than physically altering the track, we, we, hmm. there is one uh, left side, there is one, uh, this thing, no? Mute, uh, mute uh, volume less, yes. minus, and press. Yeah, this will yeah. not temporarily will not change. Only to, to just to check the output here, you can use this volume. But when is you it? export this audio, but when you export this audio, it, it, it won't you know, reduce your volume. No, no, it did, it did, sir, it did. Earlier, yeah, it did. I tried, yeah, I tried. Minimum, I, I pushed it back towards the minus, and mm -hmm. when I exported, uh, it was less. Which version are you using, sir? Uh, I don't know, That's the latest one. We just, we are, you, you, can just, you can just go to Yelp, and there is a about Audacity. Okay, okay. About help, help in the help, is it? Okay, yeah. about Audacity. Uh, uh, it shows 3.3. Okay. I'm using 2.3. Maybe, yeah. I, I, I didn't check actually after that. Maybe. Okay, okay. Uh, yeah, after. I can check and I'll let you know. In that case, I think it is. The, this is the easiest one. Instead yeah, of easiest. No, that's so easy. But of course, yeah, you said uh, the most important points like uh, customizing, uh, reducing, increasing, and all. Mm -hmm. 
wherever in a specific space yeah. if you want to increase or decreasing that you taught us no doubt mm. but overall if people simply just yeah. wanted to whoever wanted to give some some instrumental mild instrumental music background to their audio this mm. will come very handy like just by using this yeah. minimum button yeah especially yeah if they want to uh, change the volume for entire track this is the best option yes this stuff going to amplify Yeah, yeah. But if people wants to work with a specific part, so then the yes. amplifier is best. Definitely, definitely. Yeah. So it's already seven twenty-two now. actually i feel that today it's the time is went very fast <laughs> maybe because of uh, too many new you can guess also then uh, copy and paste uh, using the shift option shift yeah so both both options are possible copy so, and paste yes one is you can you can do the control x cut and you can paste it wherever you want Yeah, other option is sorry, I don't know why it is not coming. Uh, yeah, now it is coming. So one, this is a one option. Uh, I will do this. For, then I will uh, uh, give you the scenario. So for example, now I added a thunder sound, and there is a BGM sound, and there is some audio part also. But when it the mute the track when it comes to this point. I want only this thunder sound. I don't want this background sound. So, can anyone suggest me how to do this now? I hope all of you got my point. To remove it. So point. I think you Sorry. can add silence. To remove. Yes. Or else you can uh, uh, add the silence. First, uh, I think Mira sir has said uh, uh, silence, right? That is the correct answer because if you remove it, for example. Here, if after I select this, if I don't want this, instead of silence, use one the delete option. What it will do is just look at this this part. It will show you. I'm going to click on delete key. Did you see this? If I click on delete key, it will delete that track that part. But the 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 further part it will combine with this. Thing. So this won't work. That can't copy. So one the thing is, so if I don't want here, what I can do is, I can just uh, select that part and go to generate, and there is a silence. So if I click on silence, it will. Since I already selected the part, it has taken the time uh, time stamp of that, and I'm clicking on OK. Now just look at this part. See. So now, if I listen, if I play this, it's hard to collect a low amplifier if it has just a good intuition. The crew will approach the parrot. The parrot explains, "I live a very happy life until I find a peacock. I have need to collect, but the peacock has multiple colors." Bro, then visited a peacock in the zoo. Okay, so this way you can use a silent. So for a, especially if people are using a, you know, multiple voices like a tiger or the ad sound or whatever, based on your story, the kind of story you have chosen. So if you want to make some places as a silence, you can use this generate silence option. Okay, so this way you can use a silence option. And now, sorry, one of your mic is unmuted. You want to ask anything? Sorry, professor. Yeah, ah, yes, sir, yes, sir, sir. Uh, in that silent space, can we add this uh, wave sound in that place? It is there, sir. I already added the thunder sound. Now. So you want to add one more uh, wave sound? Ah? No, 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 sir. See, right now we are seeing uh, three layers. Okay, one is uh -huh. audio, background music, and the wave sound. Okay, uh -huh. so uh, in the uh, in the middle thing, you put a silence here space. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. So uh, uh, 
can we uh, cut the wave sound control x and the control v in the space sound sir uh, yeah that is possible that i can show you but what is the advantage better to keep yeah. it in a separate track no so once you come and see the problem with that see i can do that like if i use this control x and if i go to here and do the page it will come but the problem with this is like af after some time like tomorrow you will do this and tomorrow sorry today you will do this and tomorrow if you want to find out that only the thunder sound it's very difficult to find out in this track since this have uh, both background music and the thunder sound so my suggestion is better to keep all your different sound in a different tracks okay 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 so finally so finally it is more flexible yeah it is more flexible also it's very easy to find out later if you want to find out some any specific sound and you want to remove it it's very easy sir yeah already we are saving this in a save project mode so whenever uh -huh. we want to uh, do any alternations we will open the save project file and we will do the alternations yes sir that you also, can do that possible, that, that is possible, possible but yes that is possible but if you this if you combine with okay. this existing track then if you do the save project the save project also will save it in this format only it will not save it in a separate track okay so better to keep all your different sounds in a different track so that it will be two things one is at any time you can adjust the volume also for example now if i want to in increase the thunder sound it's very easy i can go to that particular track i, I can change the volume okay, now but, i see uh, can you just play one uh, only that particular track alone sir okay sorry someone is asking anything yeah actually <clears throat> well uh, saving this project i mean well working with this only listen to that third track only the thunder sound without uh, uh, being uh, parallel uh, yeah, yeah. playing on the two tracks yes i'm coming to that point only i'm coming to that point okay okay so for example once you started adding a tracks in your existed one so at any time if you want to listen only particular track for example in my case if i want to listen only now if i want to listen only the audio i don't want to listen this too okay so for that no need to remove this entire track just there is a option called mute and solo for each track okay so for example if i click on solo button here just look at this part i'm going to click on this solo see apart from this track everything is in a gray color now that means it is disabled so even if i play this now the crew can approach the parrot the parrot at the time so now when the this track is playing and at any time if you want to change or if you want to unmute any track you can come to mute option click on this or for example i don't want this bgm i want only this uh thunder sound so i i can unmute this now only these two are play then approach the parrot the parrot is playing i think a very happy life and this is my peacock i have little cousin so this way you can use this mute and solo I hope I answered to Vira sir question. Yes, sir, definitely. It's very clear. Yeah. Thank you so much. So basically, this mute and solo is solo means apart from this track, everything will be in mute. Mute means you will mute only that part, that track. At any time, if you want to unmute, you can click on the unmute and you can just play the audio. This way, you can use this uh, mute and solo. but uh, uh, okay i was trying to tell you i want to show one more thing then i can probably i will close the session for the day then the main thing i will show it in next part so if you come to uh, here the music part so the i will come to starting point of my track just listen my uh, the starting first few 2 3 seconds Okay, so if you observe my audio, the background music, 
So usually if you listen any of the devotionals or any musics uh, from your TV or anywhere, so always the track will start with very low volume. Did anyone observe that? Also the track will, even at the end also, sometimes many times it will end with very smooth voice. Yeah, it is like fade in, fade out. Yes. Fade in and fade out. Exactly. So in, in Ada City also, there is a fade in and fade out. So that top future will cut it out to, I will show you how to use that. The first I have, for example, if you observe my first, so straight away it is starting with very high pitch. So if I don't want that kind of thing, first I have to select some few seconds there. Then if you go to effects and there is a fade in. It's very, very straight for very easiest thing. So just you have to select the part and click on the fade in. Now my track is just uh, reduced the, the volume, but now just observe the same track now. So this way I can use a fade in and fade out. So, so I will try to select large area, then I will use the same option. Um, fade in. Yeah, now it will be more uh, audible. So this way you can use a fade in and fade out also the same way you can use the uh, <coughs> fade out. I will show you how to use the fade out also. Usually fade out will use it in the at the end. So same way I will select the ending part, go to effects and there is a fade out. So now if you listen my last part. What he or she has is the happiest person in the world. So this way you can use a fade in and fade out at any point. Even you can use a fade in and fade out in between also. So example here if I want to use a fade in, I can use a fade in. Sorry, I'm not able to use this. Stop. So the good thing about the fade in and fade out is it will, you know, it will not start your track in you know, a very high pitch or That's suddenly. It will start with very small. The then the So this way you can use the fade in and fade out. Okay, so I'm just exporting one more time, but this time, uh, please all of you, uh, see the export option and I'm going to explain step by step how the export will work. Please, all of you, uh, you have to see it very carefully. If you want to note down, please note down. I'm going to export this, but before exporting, I would like to save this file with today date. So today is the 17th. So so I have done a saving, save product, but now I'm going to export. All of you, please know. So exporting is basically, this is a final project. It's like a cooked food. So I'm going to make in a final version. So going to export. I can choose any of these formats. These are basically different formats for audio. Even you can choose a OGG, but the between MP3 and OGG, OGG file size will be too high. And MP3, the si file size will be, it's a normal, like a uh, medium file size. You'll get. So better you can take a MP3 option. So once you take that, it will ask you to show the path to save your file. So I'll say show desktop. And I'll keep this file name as it is. Dot MP3. It's very important. Don't remove this dot MP3 extension. And if you come to this part, so bitrate mode is already it has taken as a preset. So preset is 170 kbps. So quality right now it is taken as a standard. So if you click on this drop down option, you can take a extreme quality extreme means very high quality but the file size will be increased if you say take this if you take an insane insane will be very high it's like 320 as of now 320 kbps is the highest quality of the audio 
which you can take it from the adult city. Okay, so standard means is in between, not very low, not so if you take a medium, so based on the file size, you can the requirement you can choose this. So I'll take this standard one only because the standard is enough to play it in any of the devices. So after you do this, showing the path, giving the file name and the quality, then click on save button. Okay, so it is saying that your tracks will be mixed down. Since I'm using uh, just one second, uh, sorry, I'm So it is saying that you, you are going to combine all these tracks into one track. That's why I said you project file is very important because export file, once you add a multiple tracks, then everything will come in a one single track after I export this. So yes, I'm going to say yes. Okay. This is very important. Okay. So my just one, give me one second, my battery. Sorry for this uh, inconvenience. So, yeah. So, when it comes to this dialog box, so you have to uh, fill some few things here. So, one is the artist name. So, we have uh, recorded this audio. Just put your name. So, since all of you are recorded your own voice, so put your name. Or if you have taken this uh, recorded audio from somewhere else, like for example, I have taken this audio from Mahalakshmi Madam. So I'm just putting, instead of my name, I'm putting Mahalakshmi Madam because she is the author, right? She is the creator. So on track name, I can say uh, this story. What is the story name? I, sorry, I missed it. What is the story name? Sorry, I'm not remembering that. Just for example, so basically, just a moral story, you can type moral story. Yeah, just say track one and something I'll say. Okay. So, and the rest of the things is optional, but the artist name, because you should give it credit for the art, artist, so you should put their name. If you are recorded, you put your name. But very important thing is under comments, you put a CC by essay. Because this is important, so I will tell you what is this. So for any uh, digital material on the internet or it can be a, through pen drive. So any digital material if you are using, there is a copyrights law. Same like a textbook or any other printed textbook also if you see that. So first page of the book or the last page of the book somewhere in the book, they will mentioned that all right reserved to something, whoever the author or whoever the publisher. So they will get the credit, uh, copyrighted. The same way, but here, instead of all right reserved, all right reserved means others cannot take a copy of it and they, can, they can't revise it, they can't change it, and also they can't uh, reshare it with the others. But instead of all right reserved, if you put a CC by SA, that means it's a OER. OER means anybody can take this. So CC means creative common. C, C, creative common. By means I have to mention uh, where should I uh, take on this audio. So I have taken from Mahalakshmi Madam. So I have already given a credit for Mahalakshmi Madam. So this is done. And the SA part. SA means share like. So what SA means? Like today, after I export this, if I share it in a WhatsApp group, people can download my audio, people can use it in their classroom or wherever, uh, however and wherever they want. But later, when they are sharing it, they have to share it in the same license, CC by SA. They can't say, you know, tomorrow they can 
pick then they can after they revert it they can uh, say all right reset that is against the copyright law so since i have put a cc means anybody can take but by means they should give a credit to the creator and sa means even after they took this uh, file they have to share it in a same license okay this everybody should put the same license and once you do this click on the okay then it will export since i have added three tracks it is taking some time to export the audio okay so now just quickly i will show you the, the sorry and once you are exported and that information that you fed cannot be altered is it sir yeah it cannot be altered but digitally yes. technically you can alter yeah uh, when, a, when you get to know that when when you right click and see the information uh, you can see mahalakshmi ma'am's name and uh, that is details. that is depending on the which operating system you are using in, especially in okay. ubuntu there is no detail like that but in oh. windows you may you may have a detail in the under digitize or whatever media information okay. somewhere it will they will give but unfortunately in ubuntu in my system it, i can't show it okay okay but depends yeah, but, yeah, no since i have exported this this is a file i exported you, you can look at the date also De december 17 this since it, i have exported as mp3 i can share it with others i can i can can send it through email or i, I can send it through whatsapp or whatever so before closing this i i would like to play the same audio now see this is the audio but i was keep saying that after you export the audio then everything will come in the same track right so that also i will show you quickly sorry uh, it's already 750 just i will show you the same exported file i will open with audacity and i will show you how it, the track will come see look at here now everything is in a single track after i exported and also by mistake and i forgot to delete this unwanted the, the last part now i can remove it and i can export it okay so this way you can export it but uh, so while practicing if you need any kind of help you one two way you can get a support from us one is you can put a uh, message in a whatsapp group so either prithvi sir or myself will reply to your queries the second way is the self learning for the self learning what we have done is we, as i said we have created a handout for learn audacity so the audacity handout is available here so people can go through it whatever we covered it today session everything is mentioned step by step for example importing audio multiple tracks basic audio editing like cut copy paste adjusting your volume the amplify option removing a noise fade in and fade out and some advanced feature also we have given here so see here so we, i have given a step by step instruction about how to do the fade in and fade out so this way please i request all of you please use this handout before coming to the group and asking a question so this is for your self learning i hope all of you will use this handout to portable with the audacity okay. anyway i will share this link in a whatsapp group also Ah, Prithvi sir has shared this. Okay, so this is what uh, today's session. In our next session, if people are com uh, complete your audio by tomorrow or by.